anything Drake related. Thank you, Drake, for inspiring this feud and making this nigga pop out like this. But other than that, I, I, I think we've talked about him enough. Okay, I definitely see where you're coming from because I think Drake is kind of be being used as like the figurehead or the the representation of industry and it ain't really about him specifically. So I do agree, but I do hope that you get to some of the more nuanced conversations that I guess he's being used as a representative of. Like I definitely miss regional hip hop, but I think it's a lot of the like commercialization. Like I separate rap industry from hip hop. Like, I feel like hip hop is the voice for the culture and rap industry is like the corner store or like what a nigga is packaging up and selling in Walmart and Target more so than like the authentic piece that, you know, you got to close the store down for me to come shop. Right. So so many mm -hmm. skews, so many skews, so many skews. <laughs> so I, I would. So, yeah. So I guess, yeah, I appreciate how you broke that down, because that is kind of the conversation I want to hear. Definitely miss regional hip hop. And can we still have that with everybody in, in this race to get the highest numbers more so than representing the culture? Definitely. Who gets to decide what's the high in hip hop? Is it still the culture or is it these little streamers and stream farm who's really who's really the vote? Like, who's the electoral college for hip hop? I would love to hear that. And I would like to let you know, I still had on a cute outfit, even without your help. One. I'm not, I'm not going to ask what shoes you wore. I wore Pumas. It was LA. Duh. Oh. Oh, finally. All right. Cool. Parks was Thanks. representing in there. Uh -huh. Shout out to you, L. I saw a few of your videos, man. You was in there going crazy. You had a, man, a I, bang up time, man. You had a Oh, great I had so much fun. But you know, I'm a real rabbit. Yeah, tell her when to go. Hello. Drop your hook on them <laughs> niggas. Go. Oh. Go. Oh, go. Go. Hey. Go and get my okay, that's another time. But um also I wanted to bring up another interesting conversation. You know, the ADHD space has been popping off lately, and um DJ Head popped in there earlier. And he was talking mm -hmm. about so this is a little this is a little sidebar, just interested in your opinion. We were talking about whether or not it's the responsibility of the DJ to break records. And his outlook was like, it's not the responsibility. It's just something that they do extra. And uh, like glasses and trap and shit was kind of pushing back. Like, no, nah, it's kind of the responsibility. So I'm interested to know what you think. Is it the responsibility of the DJ to break records? To break records. Correct. I just want to be clear what what you mean when you say break records break. is like you should be listening to this. You may not have been on your discoverability like you needed to be. So let me bring this heat to you to the point where like it's introducing the record to an audience who may not have you know did they due diligence. Well, I think introducing a record is different from breaking a record. Okay, cool. Because I was wondering what else could break a record mean. So could that's you why. I have okay, what else could it mean besides that? Like like DJ enough broke pump it up so no nah, the, it's the artist's job to break his record it's the i'm going i think it's always the artist's job to find a way to get his record to pop mm, got it i never really thought about it different i never really thought about it, like that. it it's 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 my record it's your record i'm gonna get mad at the dj because he just played it or was lazy with it so do you fall and a lot of way? djs DJs are humans, too, and fans of music, right? So there's a lot of DJs that are reactive. The music industry is reactive. So the, the DJs will wait for y'all to say something that's hot kind of before they get behind it. Actually, that goes back to my regional conversation. That's why regional hip-hop is important, because it's up to your respective region to tell us what's hot from your region. I actually had a question uh, for Joe about that. Um, no, nah, I love that, though, real quick. But, yeah, I just wanted to say, yeah, I like that answer. Go ahead, Juice. Hi, Juice. What up? What up? But um, do you feel like on the East Coast, is there a Kendrick to unify everybody? And why is it not Jay-Z? What? Why is it not See, I feel like. Okay, I feel like everybody thinks Jay Z would be the Kendrick Lamar, quote unquote, to unify everybody, but I don't think he would want. I don't think he would do that. Is there anybody else from the East Coast that would do what Kendrick did? Y'all don't have a Kendrick in any other region. Sorry, I know you wasn't talking. I, I say no. Do y'all feel like there's the same need 
in the other regions. Like, I feel like you get a kindred because that environment, like we spoke about it earlier about how it's been decades from Tupac and then we had Nipsey. Like, it's just been a lot of like, this is what they needed. That's why it was so great. Like, that's why we loved it. Like, they brought themselves up. They picked themselves up from the bootstrap, uh, a home going, and he did it for everybody. So, like, maybe the reason why we don't have that is because the environment is not there in other places. Am no, I, I don't all? think so. I think the West has always been very independent. Like, even when you hear about how Too Short got down and if you learn about E4 from Chicago, but I moved to the West, like, 15 years ago. And I've always been very impressed with how independent the West Coast is. So it may look like they need that, but the West Coast is going to get their money and they'll run the West Coast and be okay with it. So I do think that the lack of regional hip hop kind of answers the question of whether or not they need that. Like, yeah, we need that in Detroit. Yeah, we need that in Chicago. Yeah, we need that in Miami. Yeah, we need that in North Carolina. Yeah, we need that in a lot of places. Maybe Atlanta might be the only place who don't really need that right now, but all those other regions, Texas, shit like that, yeah, they do need that. I respect that. That's a good Yo, answer. What do you think? That's an amazing answer. Yeah, that was an amazing answer. No, I don't I, even know if their concert question. truly was like a, a real unification. I think time, is, you know, has to tell that. You know what I'm saying? Just because everybody, you know, used a great opportunity to come together and have a great show. I don't know if that shows unification going forward. So it's something that I would want to see going forward as well. Wait, how would it not be unification? Oh, yeah, because I could be cool with you today, but tomorrow is still cool. Is yeah. it still going to be unified? Yeah, a lot can I think it remains to be seen. You know what I'm saying? Still, you know, it was a great show and it showed a great moment in that particular time. But, you know, we have to go forward in good faith and continue on as well. Yeah, time heals. And nah, I think everybody from the West is aware that the light is on them. And I think niggas just, from a hustling point of view, from a, a marketing strategy point of view, niggas is not going to just let the opportunity pass them. Like, Like, the light is on the West right now. The West sound is activated because that really is a bay sound in that not like us. That's a very bayish sound. So the world just got a like a little bit of an indoctrination to that sound. So the spotlight is on the West. Niggas is not going to let that fall through their hands. All right. We'll see. Go ahead, Mr. Seth. So yeah, Loki coming off of L's point. Um, <clears throat> asking Joe, but also asking everybody here. I've seen a tweet recently that was kind of interesting. They were saying that, oh, since Kendrick won the battle against Drake and Drake has been the more, you know, prominent figure, been the more um, marketable, crossing genres, all those other types, being more of the accessible type of artist. It is now Kendrick's position to take that mantle hold and kind of be that artist, being that, that marketable, that guy that's on SNL, you see in commercials, all that other does that actually seem like something that is now a responsibility of Kendrick or is that idea of the rap superstar that is all of those things that Drake was kind of dead now because it's been about like a 15 year run and we haven't seen anybody else come up even as a younger artist being that type of uh, being that type of figure. It's like, do y'all think that's in, in any way valid or it's just, you know, shit, that's a great shit, question. Like, you asking us or you asking Joe? I mean, I would love to hear from everybody, but you no, know, Joe as well. I didn't hear the question because my son is bad. What happened? Yo. Do you got to replace? Oh, go ahead, sir. Yeah. Do you think Kendrick, with winning the battle, has to replace the figure that Drake was as far as no. being the marketable guy, SNL, all the other rap superstars? Not at all. No way. And do you think that? that concept is still is still relevant. Somebody else should, you know, hold that mantle or is, is that even necessary in the state that rap is now? I don't think it's necessary at all. I don't, I, I, and I think for me to argue that it is necessary negates my regional hip hop point. <laughs> I don't think that's necessary. Definitely would. Like, I hate that argument that people make it like that's the structure of the rap game now and it always got to be that. Like, a lot of people are presenting that argument like he the person who held hip-hop together 
And now if Drake goes away, then hip hop going to fall apart. And I would reverse that argument and say, if he was the only nigga, then that means hip hop was falling apart. Like it, if you don't. Well, there are some Drake fans that feel like he he's bigger than hip hop. That's the talk we was having the other day about how when you're speaking to some of them, you're not really speaking to a hip hop fan. You're speaking to a Drake fan. But I don't I don't co-sign on that. Yeah, I didn't think it was I didn't think it was really relevant either, but it caused some type of discourse. So I was like, let's see if there's any other people that possibly agree with this concept. The headbanger is he's not going to continue to be that person. I know there's nothing to support that. People think I'm psycho again, but that wave is No, over. it's a lot to support that. It's a lot to support that. Like I'm just saying, I'm not trying to argue with nobody. It ain't going to be no arguing. No right. behind me. It's, it's over for that. And, like, I'm okay with that. I told them niggas the other day. I think that... I think that... Um... Drake's best music is behind him and it's in my computer.